Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Welcome to another Amazon Finds and Favorites. And I know I say this pretty frequently, but y'all today we have nothing but amazing things so I cannot wait to get into it. Everything will be linked down below. I also know in my last Amazon Finds and Favorites, I said it might be my last one without a baby, but here we are. I'm still pregnant as heck. So what can I do but film? So here we go. Um, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already to keep up with me and obviously keep up with this baby that doesn't want to come out. My shirt is from Amazon. I'm obsessed. And I'll go ahead and link all my jewelry down below. I think that's everything I have to say. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, I know I say this a lot, but this might be one of my all-time favorite Amazon finds because I could not believe what you get quality-wise for the price. So this is a two-pack eyeshadow palette situation. They are total dupes for Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes, but the best part is that you get both for $20 or less, depending on how the price like fluctuates. I couldn't believe it. It is what I have on my eyes right now, and I'm shook. So the first one looks like this. I believe this is the dupe for the Huda Beauty nudes palette um i can put a comparison picture right here y'all the quality of this is crazy so basically ten dollars for each one i use a bunch of shades today i use one of these shimmers and they are so stunning they blend so well i was shook look at that they blend so well this one doesn't have a mirror the other one does but y'all for 20 bucks for both so $10 each, it is such a steal, you need this. So a lot of the jewelry that I'm wearing right now, like these earrings, both of them are from Amazon. The necklace is from the H Gate. This little smiley face ring is also from Amazon. Super cute, even though my thumb isn't. But the new thing that I have is actually my bracelets. I saw this on Instagram, I thought it was such a cute idea. So I ended up getting two little well i got three but i'm not going to show you obviously the baby's name yet um little initial bracelets they're so cute so this one is for skippy this one is for bold i have an evil eye one for my grandma and then i have my baby's one that i'll show you once she gets here i thought it was adorable and they're literally like 11 dollars. they're supposed to be like waterproof gold plated i just thought they were adorable so i had to share okay i'm so happy to report i found a barefoot dreams dupe of amazon for 25 dollars granted this is a baby blanket so it's very small but it's still totally worth the price so i decided to go for this like beigey like white brownish color combo but there's a baby blue there's white there's pink there's a ton of different colors i think this would make a great gift for like a baby obviously but also it's just so cute so it's not too small that's kind of what it looks like and it literally feels like the real deal so for 24 dollars, i don't think it's a bad deal at all it's so soft so cute and i just had to talk about it because i love it am i gonna buy maybe two more so i can cover myself up with this maybe but the barefoot dreams blankets for babies are still super expensive so i'm glad i found a dupe of amazon so as some of you may know i've been pregnant for what feels like forever and i've been wearing nothing but maxi dresses and biker shorts and leggings so i finally since we're approaching you know the end i want to get more into fashion again and do try on hauls and all that so i picked up a few different things from amazon there's a lot of trendy items so i have a lot on my wish list but we have to start off slow because i don't know what my body's gonna look like postpartum so like i said this little top it's like a little crop top i got a size large and it definitely fits right now my bump is 100 out so i'm not gonna show y'all any of that but it's super cute it comes in different colors and the quality is actually super great it's a very nice knit material i also picked up the rainbow version that one hasn't arrived just yet and i thought this would be super cute y'all know i love a pink moment so i got this top that was like around 30 dollars this one by the way was like around less than 20 um so this one is ruched and i thought this would be so cute with like some white jeans i cannot 
even like fathom wearing jeans again <laughs> so we'll see how that goes but all the comments and reviews said it ran small this is a size medium and i think it's gonna be nice and stretchy so i would just go with your true size comes in different colors but like i said i just fell in love with the pink i have no idea how this is gonna go um i haven't even tried it on because i'm scared so i'm just gonna wait till i give birth but this is so cute i just love the colors so much so this is a little romper and it sips up all the way down it just reminds me of like flower power something like that it was like 17 dollars. i just wanted to try it out i did get a size large and it definitely looks like it'll fit me eventually like i said i haven't tried it on but i just love how fun it is this would be so cute for like a little music festival for halloween oh with some like go go boots this would be adorable if you want to dress like a 70s girl um but I just wanted to try it out. I'll put a picture of the model wearing it. It does come in different patterns. But like I said, stay tuned. I'll do a full try on haul once I am no longer pregnant. And lastly, for clothes, even though I said I was a little fed up with wearing maxi dresses, this one was too cute to pass up. So it is this gingham print maxi dress. It was around 33 bucks. It has little pom-poms and it ties right here and then it's almost like tiered and just really flowy and pretty i just thought this would be perfect for like a transition from summer to fall in houston even though it's still super hot here in the fall um so i thought this was perfect and i love the color purple so it's super cute i got a size medium this was definitely a tiktok made me do it situation um we really needed a new pepper grinder so i just decided to get this two pack so this is an electric like salt and pepper grinder and they're battery operated but you can also i think recharge them and they're super cool so they're stainless steel they're very nice and heavy and they are refillable so there's the battery situation and I have to go to a store to buy the actual peppercorns and the salt. But I thought these look super nice and sleek. I was going to get just some wooden ones. But then I was like, let me just do what the TikTok people do. And just get these cool ones. And they were maybe less than $30. Which I think is a good deal. I will update you on how they last. How they perform and all that good stuff. But I thought it was a good deal. And with the, well, I was about to say. With the holidays coming up. They're not really coming up just yet. But I like to try out things like these. That would make a good gift to recommend to y'all. This is random. But I had to talk about this bra i've probably had this for two years now and it was a little big on me for a while so i stopped wearing it but right now this bra has been a lifesaver so it is a very nice structured strapless bra from amazon it was around 20 dollars. it comes in different colors but i just have the nude and then it has this like padding right here that really like pushes in your boobs without like adding like a push-up situation it just kind of like moves them together and it makes your cleavage look great it is so comfy i cannot recommend it enough if you're looking for your new go-to strapless bra this one is it okay so this is also from tiktok i saw a chef like recommend it i immediately added it to my wish list and then it went on sale and i snagged it up i think i paid less than 20 dollars or like 25 for this and it's such a good deal so you get all these bowls with their lids and you also get all these extra accessories y'all for the price this is a steel they're stainless steel let me show you one of them that way y'all can see but i just wanted to have like bowls that first of all had lids i just think that's perfect and then also bowls that like were all matchy i thought that would be better so this is the biggest one and i love how it has this like non-slid um silicone thing at the bottom and then this is what the lids look like so i thought it was perfect and they all fit in, like inside each other so they're great for storage purposes i don't know i just thought this would be a great thing to have and i'm glad i picked it up on sale but even if it's not on sale they're super inexpensive i also grabbed two like holy grail favorites that i constantly repurchase the first one is the two pack of 
what I use to take off my makeup. This is a simple micellar water. You get both for around $15 off Amazon. They are amazing. I just grab a cotton pad, rub it all over my face, and my face feels really clean, but not like stripped and dry because I have super dry skin. So this is like for sensitive skin. Um, it says for dry and sensitive skin. So if you're struggling with your cleanser or anything like that, leaving your skin feeling like extra dry and gross, I highly recommend trying a micellar water. This is my favorite and super cost efficient. Mine probably lasts, I wanna say three months maybe or more. Um, so I just get the two pack of Amazon just to have an extra on hand. Then I asked for recommendations on my Instagram story for a new mascara because I wasn't like obsessed with any of my mascaras. And so many of you reminded me of this one. This is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, the non-waterproof version. It is incredible. It is what I'm wearing on my eyelashes today. It's not clumpy it really lengthens them and separates them and it makes them look like voluminous so obsessed because this is only $4.99 on Amazon Prime of course I have some baby stuff because I cannot help myself um, a lot of these things well some are necessary these aren't but they're so cute I had to have them so these are some wooden toys they came in a set of two for 14 dollars and i think they are adorable they are just like little cameras and they come with the little neck thing i mean my baby will probably not play with these for a while but i thought they were so cute i just had to mention them i know everyone loves the frida baby snot i want to say it's called the snot sucker or something basically you like put one end of their nose and then you suck the other part and i'm so sorry but that just sounded like not it for me so instead i got this electric um nasal aspirator i just thought it would be way more convenient to have and this is one of those like rechargeable usb ones so i spent like 30 dollars on this and i just think that's way better i talked about this in a video recently but then i realized this is an amazon find i have to share y'all i saw this for 18 dollars on a boutique and I paid $5.99 or $4.99 for this on Amazon Prime. So you do the math there. It's so cute. It has a little rainbow. It's ripped. Comes in different colors. And then it's adjustable with some buttons in the back. And it's nice and stretchy. I'm not sure what si which size I got. But I think it's so darn cute. And then just because this was on sale. I had it on my saved items for a bit. Um, this is a tummy time water play mat. And... I'll put a picture of what it looks like because I don't want to take it out of the box just yet. But basically, it is just like a sensory play situation. You put water in it and I thought this would be perfect to have for later on when she's doing tummy time and needs to be distracted. So, I mean, honestly, buy this on sale. I've seen it go as low as like $9, but as high as $17. So guys, that's everything for today's video. I love this Amazon video. I think I found so many good things let me know if you guys are picking up anything in the comments down below and also let me know what you're shopping for i know fall is approaching so are you shopping for like home decor halloween decorations what are you shopping for fall clothes what do you need help with let me know in the comments i would love to just buy things that y'all want me to review so as always if you have any suggestions of specific products you want me to try out leave it in the comments like i said follow me on instagram because it'll be baby day and it'll be baby day it'll be baby time any day now so stay tuned on there thank you guys so much for watching and for subscribing we are so close to 50,000 subscribers i'm so excited so definitely subscribe if you haven't already and yeah i'll talk to you guys very soon in my next one